Life on the seashore is ruled by the tide. This periodic exposure to air causes extreme variations of temperature, moisture and salinity. Other challenges such as waves or competition allow only the most robust animals to live there. Controlled by the gravity of this moon and the sun, ingoing and outgoing tides create rock pools, an oasis in a desiccated land. The shore crab, Carcinus manus, possesses incredible surviving skills to resist and even dominate this harsh ecosystem. Among nine other species of crabs found on the British seashore, such as Russo's crab, the shore crabs are identifiable by the shape of the carapace. Shore crabs belong to the swimming crab family and possess flattened swimming legs. However, the shore crab is more adapted to sideways walking, which allows it to quickly squeeze into crevices. Underwater, its swimming legs are only used as a rudder to maintain balance. Crabs are right-handed and use their claws for fighting, defence and feeding. The carapace makes up 40% of their weight and provides protection against rivals and predators. It has one waterproof layer and one protective layer. This is a previous molt left behind as the crab grows. Crabs molt as they age. Their gills are rigid, so are left behind. They allow the impressive ability of breathing both in and out of water. They are able to live for up to two weeks out of water. Water and air are moved in and out by fast beating appendages. Shore crabs sense the world around them through their eyes, antennae and tactile hairs. Its compound eyes enable it to see movement and colour and the tactile hairs allow it to perceive movement in the water and hear noise. It has chemoreceptors on its carapace and legs, meaning it can taste with its feet. Males and females have different anatomy. Females have broader and more segmented abdomen, which helps her carry eggs. The male's reproductive organs are not normally visible as they are kept tucked underneath the abdomen. Eggs colour differs with species, but they are arranged in the same efficient way allowing the female to carry up to 180,000 eggs. Eggs hatch into zoea, small creatures living in an open ocean which feed on algae. Out of four molts, they go into larger megalopa, which have legs so it can walk and swim. They sink to the bottom and undergo metamorphosis, transform into juvenile crabs. Their carapace starts circular, but then develops into its characteristic shape in subsequent molts. Some crabs reach sexual maturity within a few months, while some take up to a year. Juveniles have an amazing camouflage ability. Due to genetic variations and active colour changes, they have a wide variety of patterns, helping camouflage until they are old enough to defend themselves. At each molt, shore crabs must choose between two different life strategies, growth or reproduction. Red crabs are larger and more aggressive with thicker shells and larger claws gain them higher mating success. They live lower down the shore where there is more competition. Green crabs are smaller but grow faster. They are able to survive at more extremes and live higher up in the shore. Shore crabs have highly adapted mouth parts which enable them to eat almost any smaller animal on the seashore. They are able to rapidly consume food and then chew it later once they are safe. As well as algae, they eat crustaceans, snails such as dog whelks, fish like gobies, bivalves such as oysters, many different types of worms, rock pool shrimps, slipper limpets, or even smaller crabs of the same species. Direct intake of nutrients from the water is also possible through their gills. They're hunted by seagulls, mammals, and other larger crab species. Shore crabs were originally found in Western Europe, but their survival skill allowed some to survive boat trip and invade all temperate shores. Now, they are one of the top 100 worst invasive species due to their voracity. For instance, they are able to eat up to 40 clams a day, costing Canadian oyster farms millions of dollars. Shore crabs are solitary and nocturnal. During the day, they tend to stay hidden under rocks, using the camouflage to avoid predators. At night, they are much more active, spending their time hunting, feeding and fighting. They may be successful, but shore crabs are not invulnerable. 
10 to 50% of shore crabs are infected with a barnacle parasite, Sacculina custini, which invades the whole body, but does not kill the host. It prevents them from molting or reproducing, and also changes its behaviour, making it act more like a female. This would make a good weapon to target the invasive shore crabs, but the risk of infecting other species is too high. From multifunctional gills to camouflage carapace, shore crabs are gifted by many useful adaptations. This has resulted in their success on temperate shores, for better or for worse.